Okay, today is Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. This is Townsend Conservation Meeting. Uh, I'd like to open the meeting with roll call. John Hussey. Present. Jim Dorian. Here. Uh, Jim LaQueer. Present. Ann LaQueer. You're supposed to be coming on. Okay. Dalton Wagman. Present. Jennifer Eaton. Here. And Karen Hill is me, I hear. 1.3, topics, topics unanticipated by the chair 48 hours in advance of the hearing. <clears throat> I'd like to add 4.3 determination letter dated 4-12-21 from NHESP regarding the water department well replacement. 3.3 and 4.4 on the agenda as Townsend MVP Action Grant 2021 application, Climate Resilience Water Supply Assessment, a request for support. Can I get a motion? So moved. Can I get a second? Second. Uh, John Hussey, are you in favor of this? I am. Jim Brewer, are you yes. in favor? Um, Jim LaCroix, are you in favor of that? This is a 1.3 that we're doing? Yes. Okay, yes, I'm in favor. Um, Ann, are you there yet? No. Dalton um, Wagman, are you in favor of this? Yes. Uh, uh, Jeffrey, are you in favor of this? Yes. And I am in favor of this. Chair's report, just trying to keep stuff going. <coughs> And the agent's report that was emailed out to you, if you all received that. A whole lot of pools going in in town. So that gets us to 1.6, approve and release the March 24th, 2021 minutes. Did everyone get a chance to review those? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody have any issues? I never got any comments back to change anything. So. Okay, may I get a motion to approve and release the meeting minutes for March 24th, 2021? Take a vote. Release the meeting 24th, March 24th, 2021. Can I get a second? Second. John Hussey, are you in favor of this? I am. Jim Drury, are you in favor of this? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Jim McCoy, are you in favor of this? Yes. Uh, Dot Wagman, are you in favor of this? Abstain. Yeah, abstain, okay. Jennifer Eaton, you in favor of this? Yes. Oops. Sorry. And I'm in favor of this. I'm making a mess of my notes. <clears throat> we have no hearings and appointments. That will change next time. 3.0, administration. We have 3.1, which is reaffirm the vote taken at the March 31st, 2021 meeting. Apparently, because we didn't get a notification, we didn't get the Zoom link from TCAM in time to post it 48 hours in advance even though i posted the agenda i didn't get the tcam link for the zoom meeting so we have to reaffirm the vote that we took which has to do with how we're going to interview the agent so um so when we came in for that meeting that was that's all yeah it was a waste of time then. yep yep so um we after that meeting i met talked with mr Friedler and we did a this um guide of how we're going to approach the um, interviewing the agent. And he typed it out and sent it off to the selectmen. I gave you all that. Yeah, yeah, I, I also I have, emailed I it somewhere. Um, I got the, I got the uh, letter and the email you sent out. Yeah. So actually, the, the email was more lengthy than this because uh, what I printed out was just what Jim Cradler sent me. But then I responded back that that's, this is exactly what we wanted other than this interview process, this, this procedure here is for only this current vacant position. It's not to set a standard going on from this. So when you got the email, that was included in the email. Um, I'm just being cheap on paper. I'm, um, I just have a question. I thought that we only did that vote um, because we had discussed the applicant at the previous meeting. We, I thought that was the only reason we did that vote. We wanted to meet with the um, the applicant in person, but you're right. We discussed their that person, and then we just decided from this time forward we would just go with this procedure. 
That's the way I understood it. If, if that's not the way we can rehash this. Well, I just want to say one thing. The only reason that I was very assertive about meeting with the applicant is because I was prepared to interview that specific applicant that night. And I, you know, the whole, yeah. I don't have yep. to get into it. Yep. Um, and that was the reason that okay. I wanted to interview that applicant. So if anybody feels strongly moving forward, it's a blank slate. Well, I don't have a problem with you doing it, be, be, being part of the interview process because you will have to work with this person. Okay. Um, in, in the past, whoever was upstairs in that office being, right now it's Beth, and um, before that it was Michelle Dakota and Lindsay, they interviewed Dave and other applicants so, um, because they have to work with that person. Mm -hmm. And that's only fitting. Um, you know, I, I don't know the entire process because I was only a commissioner at the time. I assume that the chair chimed in on this looks like a good person, this looks like a good person. You know, that that's all I can assume that happened and that's how I would assume that it should happen. But since we're short on staff upstairs, <laughs> we need additional people and that would be Mr. Parler stepping in and you and myself. So that's the process. So that being said, we need to reaffirm if this is the way we want to go forward or if we want to do something different. How did that decision and pro process that we went through with Lindsay, um, how well did that serve us? I think they did well. Uh, they, again, they had to work with that person and they seemed to work well together. That's all I can say. Who is Lindsay? Lindsay was our former admin and then she moved up to the land use coordinator. Okay. It's my opinion, Mr. Chairman, that we can go over this thing many more times and change little words here and there to get something more de de defiant or definite for whoever those might be on the commission. But for right now, I think that this is comfortable for us. Anyone else? Jim? Your Jim? John? Dalton? Anyone want to chime in? I think it's fine. Uh, the letter that uh, Mr. Kreidler sent out it seems pretty straightforward. And I guess if um, it, if Jennifer doesn't want to participate in that, uh, someone needs to um, at a minimum, right? So I'm here, guys. Hi, Anne. Hi there. I had a hard time. I'm doing it on my cell phone because my computer and my uh, iPad wouldn't do it. So, but I am here. Yeah. And just like us, your side <laughs> Anyways, that's okay. Rotate the iPad, see if you can straighten out. It's her phone. It's a phone. I've done everything. I can't get on with the computer or the iPad. I don't know what's going on. All right, well, we can carry on the meeting. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. That's fine. So I don't know how much you heard, but we're discussing, um, we have to, reaffirm the vote that we took on March 31st because the TCAM link was not provided 48 hours in advance of the meeting. Right. So that, that made every vote we took, which was this one vote at that meeting, invalid. So we have to reaffirm this vote. And I sent you out um, the letter that Mr. Kreidler and I had talked about the procedure for interviewing the new agent or an agent. So we just need yep. to reaffirm this is the way we want to go forward. Okay. If not, we can revote on something different. But can we can we ask Dave to come back? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> He's happy where he is. So I'm sure Dave is happy where he is. Yep. So was that a motion that you made, Jim? I'm gonna present to the commission a motion to carry on with the uh, questions we have on this sheet that's for the conservation agent in view. Okay, so basically you're saying is you're reaffirming the vote that we took at March 31st. Maybe. That's what I'm saying. Which is, which is that you, uh, Jennifer and Mr. Kreidler will interview potential candidates for agent coming up. 
Correct. Yeah. Seems fine. Can I get a second on that? Second. I second. Uh, okay. John Hussey, you in favor of this? I am. Tim Dorian, you in favor of this? No. Okay. Jim LaCoy, are you in favor of this? Yes. Ann LaCoy, are you in favor of this? Yes. Don Wagner, are you in favor of this? Sure am. Jennifer Eaton, are you in favor of this? I'm going to stay. <clears throat> And I don't have to, but I will. I'll abstain also. Actually, you instead want? of just a no, I would prefer to abstain from it. I don't want to have anything to do with this vote. Uh, hang on a second. Then we would have. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Madam Chair. Yes. I, but I would uh, appreciate it if you could change my vote to uh, an abstain. I can't. Because then the motion won't carry. He does have the prerogative. He does have that decision. prerogative, but then we don't. Then we're you can't <clears throat> you can divert his decision. If he chooses to say no, in the case within the vote time, he can say abstain or no. He made a, a mistake on the initial decision. His second one is to abstain. It has to be upheld. You can't influence him by saying you can't. He can. Okay. <clears throat> so then we are nowhere with how we're going to interview the agent. Uh, may, Madam Chair, may I have the floor? Sure. I'd just like to address uh, Jim Dwarian and John Hussey. Uh, what, um, what is it that you would like to see go forward, please, regarding this decision? Either of you? I don't have to explain my decision. My decision is well, no, to abstain. What would you like, no, what my would you decision like to is see? to abstain. So uh, it, it stands at that. We already went through and had a meeting for this. I understand we had a technical per se situation come through. I made myself clear how I felt about the process of bringing on the agent. And done. I abstain. Okay, but I get that. So how would you like this process to work? That's what we're asking is, what do you want to see the process be? Not what your vote is, because obviously this isn't gonna go forward because we now don't have enough votes. So we need to come up with a way to interview an agent, because right now we don't have a way now. Do we have anybody on the line to come for No. Okay, I'm gonna suggest that we table this to the next meeting, have another formal meeting with more people present on the commission, discuss it, redo it, and go from there. Um, I don't know that we're going to have more people. We ha we're all here. Well, we, Dan will be here next time, Oops. possibly John will be here next time, and maybe even uh, Dalton will be here next time. It's, it's got to be, in my opinion, to get everybody together, we're going to have eye contact and hear each other's conversations without waiting for the delay on that thing. We can get much more accomplished. It's a it's a little bit of a moot point right now because we don't have anyone um, who has applied, so it's not necessarily a log jam. Maybe we could just have a very brief discussion about it next time as needed. Okay. Well, we may have a very busy meeting next time. That's all I'm thinking about. There's two RDAs, and I think there's at least two more coming. So anyway, um, I okay. guess it is. So we will, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> table this, well, actually, we're not tabling it. We'll bring it back up at the next meeting. The 28th. Yep. So I'll add this at 5.0. Um, Adam Chair, can I ask a question, please? Absolutely. We have a seven-member board, and everyone is um, here tonight? Yes. So what were the yeas and nays? What was the tally? If you had two abstains that I'm aware of. Four abstains. Who? Four abstains because Jennifer is going to be working with said person and I, because I'm the chair and I have to interview said person, I abstain. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
All right, I understand uh, the scenario now. Thank you. So again, we will discuss this at the next meeting in, on the 28th. Yep. Okay, on to 3.2. Oh, sorry. No. I'm going to close that out. We're done with that? We are. Because I didn't see you ask John why he abstained. You questioned me abstaining. Well, actually, both of you were questioned, and neither of you answered. So I said to you, John, why would you have abstained? What would you like to see different? Although we're going to discuss this at the next meeting, so it's not correct. I made my point. It's been recorded. If there's, a, if there's a candidate, I don't see why we'd have to discuss it next time if there's unfortunately no candidate. Well, we need to come up with the process so that if and when we get someone, or two or three, hopefully, that we can continue on with the process. And we don't have to, we could have three weeks in between a meeting. So, you know, every time you drag this out, it, it's longer and longer. That's, that's the reason for trying to get a process set up so that when we have people that show up that are interested, we can jump on it. So again, we're going to discuss this at the next meeting. Understood. Um, you know what? I'm going to take a vote on that. I don't think we need one, but so we're all in favor of, can I get a motion to move this to the next meeting? Right. Make a motion to move this discussion to the following meeting, which would be April 28th. And it will be raining. I'm sorry? It will be raining. <laughs> okay. That's Maybe a guarantee. <laughs> and that's going to be... Um, the 28th. Can I get a second on that? Seconded. All right. John, how are you in favor of this? A little abstain. Okay. Um, Jim Drury, are you in favor of this? Same. Jim McQueen, are you in favor of this? Yes. Anne LeCoy, are you in favor of this? Yes. Scott Wagman, are you in favor of this? Yes. Jennifer Eaton, are you in favor of this? I'm going to say I'm going to say yes. I think you can vote for this because it's just to move this to the next meeting. Yeah, no. not, not a vote to vote, a vote to discuss. Vote it. It so, no it, it, on it. I don't, I'm not trying to change your opinion. But, okay, but thank you. Okay, so you're still going to abstain? Yeah. I'm going to vote for this, so. <clears throat> so as it stands, this decision was only for us. It's, as Jim said, we tabled it. This will go forward at the next meeting discussing yep. what our method, what our game plan is yep. in language, in writing, how are we going to process through the interviewing yep. of any and all candidates coming to yep. for the position of the agent, correct, for this particular vacancy. But you had stated that it is not going to be, this is a temporary format of how we are going to move forward with this process. It's for this why is it, position. Why are we not able to make a decision as the commission how we will process through this this decision we just that's what this is doing but it's for this vacant position it's not for you if, stated if we it, have, it is a one time setup that we have got right here for that correct because there's been different ways it's been done in the past um, and, and I, again, in the past, it's been the people upstairs in the land use department interviewed the person, but we're short. We have one person upstairs. So what you want Beth to interview? That's what it's going to turn out to. I'm not making any point. I'm and she doesn't want to be involved. So, So that's all I'm saying. That, that's why I'm saying this is specific for just this agent position. We're not setting a standard for the way this is going to go forward six months from now when maybe we get an agent and that agent leaves. 
then we'll have hopefully a full staff upstairs and then that full staff can interview the person. We're going to have our next agent for 10 years. <sighs> Thank you, Dalton. <laughs> so I'm just trying to stay positive over here. Yes. I, I think that by the time we get done this in an open meeting at the next meeting, this could be resolved to be something that could become permanent. It doesn't have to be temporary. I'm okay, well, you know, maybe that yeah. maybe that's the way and we need to look at it. Is it needs to be if a commission down the road decides to change what we've decided on, that's going to be a future commission's decision. Okay, we can, and that's the way we can vote next time. And we've already decided to table this to the next meeting. So I'm going to end the discussion on this, and we're going to move on. Just with one point before we <clears throat> untie this from the dock. What is the process with these other commissions? Zoning, planning board, et cetera, et cetera. I know this is not a first for other commissions and other boards. I'm not entirely familiar with all of the procedures. Um, it, it varies and it varies from moment to moment. It, it, honestly, there's no set um, way for doing this. It, it's, it's, it's been done a different different ways, different times, and it depends on. I, I sat in on the land use coordinators interview. Gosh, with Mike and two people from the planning board, and that was maybe 2018. So, are the interviews normally open to the public? Not usually, no. Madam Chairman, may I make a comment? Yes. On the Board of Health, which I've been a member of for 18 full years, I have had the opportunity two times with the board, three-member board, to interview applicants filling out for the administrative secretary position, okay? I did it for Kathy Spoffin and I did it for Carla. So the board itself come up with the questions and answers at an open meeting. We had no guidelines or references, and then the candidates, applicants, left and we discussed what we want to do the good the bad and showed them from the higher well here's the difference your open meeting isn't televised well this wasn't because it wouldn't be televised. i know so I that 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 was the issue that we had at the last meeting was right. that we didn't want to have it in an open meeting because it, well, it's not fair to a candidate yeah. to, it, it was a public open meeting but nobody attended except for the board and the applicants right so that's how it's handled i'm just taking a comment for jim so he knows what the board of health has done thank you jim and in reality, we could go into executive session, but we cannot discuss the applicant prior to the meeting at any meeting. Absolutely so, not. Can know. I make another comment so we can move on with this? I would like I to. think the particular dynamics that we're dealing with right now, that A, the selectmen have decided to bring it down to a 15 hour position, A, B, putting it in a position where it doesn't even present any medical insurance for that particular person to these amount of hours, along with the fact that when we bring it to 15 hours, it was a struggle for an individual to do it in 20 hours. And I noticed there was a lot of rough edges and we had a lot of indecision and there was a lot of problems that accompanied that 20 hour position. Now, if I do recall, how many hours did Leslie, when she was acting agent, how long, how many hours was she allowed a week? She was both agent and admin. Point made. Okay. That, puts, that puts us in a difficult position to bring somebody on that's going to A, that, want to be to any degree of consistency. With any degree of consistency, we're not going to gain it. We're not going to have it. Now, my question, once again, I wish the selectmen were here so we could sit there and confront them and say to them, how do you feel as though this is going to work out for us as a commission when we're struggling the way we are right now? Well, maybe you should go to a selectman's meeting once in a while. I've been to almost every one of them in the last two or three months. I see my TV. Yeah, well, that's not going to it because you can't voice your opinion. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to end this discussion. It's mm -hmm. done. We're over with that. Moving on to 3.2. Oh, way back, where are we? Way back in March, I got a phone call from a resident that lives at Seven Water Street, complaining about 
trash in the wetland and apparently it's one of our parks. Um, Could you just get everybody familiar with 7 Warren? The street, 7 Warren Street. <laughs> Does everybody know where this is? It's over there. No, I don't. Is that somewhere near me, like uh, behind the churches? Yeah, so not, okay. not everybody knows where it is. All right. Well, so go you ahead. You have to be familiar to it. I'm it, not it, familiar It's a flooding it. Howard Park, as far as I figured. Okay. Um, huh? Did you say something? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I did. I, I'm not sure where, we're, where the location of the um, uh, trash. Howard Park, 7 Water Street. Oh, okay. Okay. The little bridge that goes over there behind Howard Street? I'm not entirely sure. I haven't been out there. I got a call. I told this person that we would bring it up at the meeting because we didn't meet until April 14th. So we're discussing it now because I had no way of dealing with this otherwise. Well, there's another area in town that people need to look at also. If we're concerned with trash. Um, <laughs> If you take a, a left on Edwards Road, heading east on Route 119, and look right to the left, right behind that first house. In the wetland. Yeah, and we've, we've discussed that area in the past. Well, we don't own that. We own Howard Park. Howard Park is our baby. So I'm sorry. I, I thought I could talk, but that's OK. Go ahead. No, you can. You were talking, but. I was, I was responding to Jim Drury. Howard Park is our property, so it's our responsibility. What you're talking about is not our property. Did you receive any photos? I did not. It was a phone call. The trash cleanup day is next week, right? Next oh. Thursday? No. Saturday. Is that Saturday? Oh, of course you <laughs> know. I know. I'm looking in the wrong direction. Yeah, thank you. Go um, ahead. Please, no, so please. that, um, would, I don't know if it's something that you could just put. I don't know how you want to that area that. or if it's like, is it stuff that needs to be hauled out? I don't, don't know. know. I haven't seen it. With. I haven't it's seen it. So, Southern Water Street is when you come up from Southern Water yes. you're coming south, you take a right on Water Street. And you go to the real shop bend right there. They just put a garage or something, a septic system on a house. It's right there. Yeah. yeah. Right? That's where it is. I thought that's where it yeah, was. Howard and, uh, right. Yeah, Howard School. Right. Yes. Water. I confirm. I'm looking for a map. You're correct. I didn't go Oxwin on the river bank. Correct. So, uh, and that's all windborne from. Yeah. yeah. Windborne. It could have come from the school. It could have come from anywhere. Exactly. So I'm bringing this up. Yeah. I'm personally not going to do anything myself because I'm busy enough with everything in the office. I, and, and this is up to the commission as to how it's going to be dealt with. I don't know how we want to deal with this. I don't know how the commissions in the past have dealt with stuff like this. I really have no idea. I have a question. Sure. Um, so suppose I was willing to help you know, like pull some filth out of our jurisdiction over there, what mechanism would we have for taking care of said filth after it's pulled out? You know, is there some sort of well, budget? We, with the Sorry. trash, uh, the townwide trash cleanup, are there specific there, there are, bags? There are green bags that we've been green this year. I would, I would have one meeting, but those bags are donated to the town for this pickup. Yes. The team and Shaw's is going to pick it up. The question I have for the commission is if the board of health were to designate a few people to go in and clean that up, can they walk in the wetlands without having silk fences and all that? Oh yeah, they can walk in it. I don't yeah. know if I don't know if it's like this deep or well, this there, deep or there, you know. there could be a problem there because you can't put people in harm's way. Right. But to address it with some people to satisfy the people that may live there or complain that would be one of the things I think I'd go with. I agree, but again, I haven't seen it, so I don't know yeah, what we're talking about wetland. wetland. Is it is it ten feet deep? <clears throat> is it an it's, inch deep? It's a mess back there because I have to go down. So okay. All right. Well, good. Um, so you're and right now is prime time because you see everything, and that's why the complaint came in. In three weeks, it'll be all trees and leaves. So, what's your take on how it's been generated? Um, if we have, if I have permission for the Board of Health from the Conservation Commission to ask for a few people, certain individuals. No, no, Jimmy, I meant 
what is the, the, the origin of the, is it, oh, it's, wind it's, it's windblown, you feel as though people aren't taking care of it. I'm all for cleaning something up, mm -hmm. but if three or four months later, it's right back to where it was. My, my efforts and time are in vain and I don't want to work in that direction. Now, if we're going to stop policing rubbish because it's, it is Howard Park, I'm going to go back to what John Hussey's talking about, that property down just before the high school to the left-hand side. These people have gone right into the wetland area. They've mowed and cleared in wetland area. We approached them once before. That should have been dealt with a long time ago, and it's five times worse than what you're looking at down on Water Street. So I don't know when we came into being the, the rubbish police. I understand the call is important. It's complaint. We indeed shouldn't address it. But are we the stewards to do that? Just because it's, is it in Howard Park? Is it? It's our property. That, it is that our is, property. Yes. So we need to, <laughs> let's make sure we have a solution before we go in and, and start removing rubbish. So we, if we need to put up fence in that area so it doesn't blow in, if, let's figure out where it's generating from. So we have a better feel this so it won't regenerate. It's going to regenerate because of the neighborhood and where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. We're not going to stop that. Generation. I'll be out there. Yeah. I'm going to take a ride. I'll take a good get up. And yeah. if, if, if we could get toters like you've always wanted to with the lids on them, that would cut down on if 99 this town will never stuff. approve I know, them. I, I, and I didn't even ask for toters in the new trash line track because I tried it for 18 years and everybody laughed at me. All right. So we're, we've digressed. Yeah. Okay. So, um, if you have a way of the Board of Health um, taking care of this, I would be more than happy. I will use the term assist. Assist. Okay. We can assist. And okay. I will make a phone call to Carla tomorrow. She knows all the people that are going to be on the cleanup. And if they can give us some volunteers to go in and get some of the stuff out of there. Because again, be... I don't know how deep it is out there. I, well, you know. they're not going to go in with it. They're going to have a canoe. I mean, it's, it's by the shore and they can get to it. They'll pick it up. But if okay. it's too far in, that's on the way. I'm not going to okay. do that. So, actually, I'd like a motion to let Jim reach out to the Board of Health and see if they can't coordinate some um, trash removal for us in our property. So moved and thank you. Um, can I get a second? Second. Can I make uh, one statement before we make a final? Who was that other second? It was you and Anne. 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 Yes, thank you. Yes, go ahead. Um, with regard to volunteers, maybe maybe there's no problem getting, you know, Jim's sounds like he's pretty... Um, steadfast in, in being able to acquire volunteers, but I just happen to think of the Boy Scouts. I'm sure they'd like to have a, they might, they might want to have a, an opportunity to earn another merit badge or something. No, totally agreed. And that's, Jim just said that's what he had in mind. So. Oh, good. <laughs> and could it, at the same time, could we find a way to visit I know this is 7 Water Street we're discussing, but I'd like to visit this property that John and I both are referring to. I would like to do that when we get an agent. Okay. My other thought is I'm not sure who the complainant was with regard to Howard Park, um, but I'm glad they did, and I'm not certainly shooting anyone in the foot, uh, but maybe they, um, you know, interviewing them, maybe they have an idea of where this debris is coming from because um, like Jim DeRorian was just saying, um, you know, is this something, I, I, you know, I don't think we should be the trash police every every 11 or 12 months. Um, it would be a good idea to put a lid on it so that it can we can get it behind us. And I, I think those are great thoughts. Uh, I think Jim is spot on and, um, you know, it's just, the other thing is, uh, Karen, you said that Howard Park was our our, um, our property. I, I never knew that. I, maybe I'm just naive. I just know. I might be wrong. I, I'm not. I mean, I've, I've been around a little while, and I, I never, I was never. Uh, 
I never understood how it back to be part of conservation commission. Yeah. If it is, that's we, great. If it is, that's great. And uh, I know Meeting House, et cetera, that's a private bridge to begin with. And John, if you're familiar, that's where the individual had that beaver dam that built up. And we remember we traced it all the way back down to the river. Yeah, and they were gonna they were gonna try to get a machine in there to take that dam out, and then uh, it and just uh, it just didn't. It never happened. Correct. Yeah. All right. Well, moving on. Okay. So I don't, I don't know who owns it. I haven't checked it. Um, maybe if Cemetery and Parks doesn't. I can make sure tomorrow. I'll find out. Okay. So some, some homework could be done okay. on that. We can but in the meantime, for... Jim can certainly reach out to someone to um, get that in our town wide cleanup because that obviously needs to be taken care of. Is that, is that on our horizon, the town wide cleanup? <clears throat> the 18th of this month. Oh, okay. Saturday. It's Saturday, John. Thank you. Jim, are you going to be going out to Seven Water Street tomorrow to get a look at this? I'm considering doing that, James, yes. All right. If you do, give me a number on each or okay, we take some pictures. Get I a feel appreciate of that. Yeah. yeah. So, so that way you and I can both look at it, get a you you know, collective opinion. 978. Do you, you want to wait till after the meeting so it's not coming? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, okay. yeah that was... Yeah, okay. Okay, so, Thank you. so um, we've got a motion and a second, and now we got to take a vote. Right. So, Joe Hussey, you in favor of this? I am. Uh, Jim Gray, you in favor of yes. this? Yes. Jim LeQuire, you in favor of this? I believe I can vote on that, yes. Yes, you can. Dan LeQuire, you in favor of this? Yes. Don Wagner, you in favor of this? I am. Jennifer Eaton, you in favor of this? Yes. And I am in favor of this. Brings us to 3.3, the Townsend MVP Action Grant 2021 application, Climate Resilience Water Supply Assessment. They're looking for a request, or they're requesting a letter of support, which we did this last year. Apparently, we just missed out on the grant last year, and um, they said the response was back that Townsend has a really strong possibility of getting it this year. So, um, Writing it. I believe it's Beth in the planning department. So um, Dave wrote uh, a letter last year, right? I think I got your email, Karen. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's a form letter. You just fill in the blanks, really. It's you know. So what I need from the commission is we um, a motion to send this letter of support so that we can hopefully get the grant. Does everybody on the commission understand what climate resilience is? So I, I read that email and uh, it looks like there could be quite a bit of funding, but it wasn't really clear to me what that funding did for the town. Um, could you explain if you're able? Um, it's, there's a whole scenario. It's, it, it encompasses a lot of things. And at this point they're choosing only a few bits. It, it, so it's gonna be a year thing. From what I get, and right now they're focusing on water quality, which is the water supply assessment. So that being said, that's what this section is about. Because with global warming or climate change, whichever you want to call it, with us getting more rain, less rain, the seas are rising, and yada yada yada. So our water supply, a lot of our wells are very shallow. And that's part of what the new Main Street well is all about. It's being a deeper well. We're trying to build climate resiliency for the town. I don't know if that made any sense. Is it but there will be water. Where we are with our futures <laughs> of water. It, it, it's under the premise of water futures. Yep. How are we going? Well, how? not just what they're applying for this particular year. It, it could go to something different. It could go to infrastructure. It could go for... Correct. They will target where yeah. the weakest point is, and then <clears throat> there they will adjust and, and assist us to get those particulars much more centered and, and facilitated working. Like you said, we were working under low groundwater for West Towns, and now they're going down 600 feet to extract the water instead of 15 feet surface water. Surface areas are becoming more and more contaminated. They've targeted it. 
salt, fertilizers, et cetera, et cetera. This is the premise of why they're putting this forward so that we can see what's coming down the pipe so we can get ready for it, whatever it may be. Right. So what I'm looking for is a motion so that I can fill in the, the letter um, support and send it off to the planning board. I make a motion to what you just expressed. <laughs> Second. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, John Hussey, you favor this. Jim. Jim Dory, yes. you favor this. Jim LaCroix, you favor this. Yes. Ann LaCroix, you favor this. Yes. Scott Wagner, you favor this. Yes. Jennifer Eaton, you favor this. Yes. And I am in favor of this, even though I have to do it. <clears throat> okay. So the bridge is 4.0. We got a volunteer response form dated 32821 from James Gates at 30, uh, 73 Turnpike Road. We emailed that out to you all. I mm -hmm. have it before. So we don't have a vacancy. So I guess I will just send him a letter saying thank you for your interest and we'll keep you on record. I, that's all I can come up with. Anybody? That's all you can do. No. James, fine. And 4.2, we got a complaint from Joan Savoy dated 41 <laughs> in regards to the conservation meeting on 331-21 was held under defective notice, which is why we had to re-vote on uh, how we were going to do the interviewing of the agent. So that's kind of taking care of that. Let's run me through that a second. Because of the... Because we didn't have the T Cam link posted 48 hours in advance, along with the agenda, it was a defective. We will agenda. post it in the correct. Well, time. so this is what happened. Uh, I sent in the agenda without the link. Kathy Spofford printed it, put it out there. When I got the link, she put the link on the one that was on the website, but not outside. And even then, it wasn't done 48 hours in advance of the meeting. So we're ending that discussion. 4.3, the termination letter dated 4-12-21 from Natural Heritage and Endangered Species Program regarding the water department wall replacement. It's a no take. So I have printed up their um, RDA and I put that in their mailbox. And they will have tomorrow. So they're good to go. They're good to go. Awesome. They, did a, they did a management plan, blah, yep. blah, blah. 4.4, the Towns and MPP Action Grant 2021 application, which we just went this over. Okay. Um, 5.0, items for discussion at the next meeting. We're going to have an RDA for 11 Song Road and an RDA for our Hang on. 11 Song? Yep. Who's doing that? Uh, it's, they want to cut down four trees. All right, so that's the tree company coming forward or on. For no, it's, it's the homeowner. The homeowner and the, homeowner. the tree cutting it's, service will come in front of us too. I think it's just the homeowners. Okay, very good. And what's the other idea? Eleven song and what? Oh, Warren Road. What number? Kevin Smith? Yep. The three units? There are no numbers. They're just lots at this point. So then there's only one that they're coming before us with an RDA. So, so they is that where they did a bunch of the welling? Yep. Okay. Free wells. Uh, so, oh, and discuss hiring the agent. But um, that having been said, we should probably do site walk prior to the meeting. Yes. Um, I know the Sarro people would prefer after next Wednesday. So that would be, you know. And Sarro is just trees. Yep. Yeah, so I'm sorry, Jim, if I interrupted you. No, John, you're all set. Go ahead, buddy. Is it one of those lots um, within the riverfront that uh, Kevin Smith has over there? Yeah, that's why they're filing. Correct. Well, he's not he going to put it on the RDA because he's in the 200 foot. An RDA isn't going to work on, a, on a, a lot that's within the 200 foot riverfront. They're going to have to file an NOI, I think. Well, they came before us with an RDA and we have to make a decision. So, sure.
John, why is why are your picture like all dark? You turn your lights off. It is the sunset. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sunset over. So it spans as an RDA. We still got to set up for a site walk, okay? We're, we'll, when it comes before us, we'll deal with it. We put in for an RDA, so it stands as an RDA. Correct. Okay. So, that having been said, yeah. what do people's schedules look like for the... Ooh, second calendar. Like the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, anytime before the 28th, it's on the 20th, I guess. I can't do it the 22nd. I can't do it the 22nd either. Okay. So that's the Thursday. Right? Yep. Yeah. And well, I won't be here next week, so it doesn't matter to me. You guys can all do it yourself. So, um, but. Do you want us to go independently or do you no, want the, home, the owner to be notified that we're going to go out there or what? You're going to have to meet on the war road lot with the engineer. So you've got, we've got to arrange for the engineer to be out there, which could Stanley. be on a Saturday or Sunday mm -hmm. or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the following week. And I would prefer that everybody went together to Sauna Row. Actually, I prefer that we all go together anyway because yes. everybody will hear the same thing and it won't be different. So, did you say you're up next week? You won't be here? Correct. Okay, so you're going to put that up to the 26th? Uh, at least the 24th. The 24th. Okay, the 24th. Uh, Ann and I can do that. That's Saturday. Yep. Yeah, I can do that. It'd be okay for me as well. Really, Dalton? You could do that? It's on a Saturday, right? Yeah, you're yeah. the hardest one to schedule. <laughs> what time? Um, or you want to call the engineer first? Or yeah, tell let we're going to be there, you be there. Yeah, let me call the engineer. Um, let's say we'll start at 10. I okay. think that makes a good point. So whether the homeowner wants to be there at 10 or we'll, so we'll go that way. So we'll put it down right now. It's ten at Twenty-four at ten. Yes. Okay. And we'll hit both of them. Question. Yes. Engineer is Stanley. It will be Stanley or one of his others. Only because Stanley's local. He's pretty quick to be able to get it there and it can be yeah. convenient. So I'm just. Just trying to see how the duck's going to fall here. Yeah, that's all. It's so, technically, the 24th, 10 o'clock, Warren Road. It'll be Warren and Sauna. So, we'll see who, who goes first. Very good. Okay. Because maybe Stanley can make that. So. All right. And I said, and we're going to discuss hiring the agent, I believe. So, I'll just. All right. 6.0, advertisements and conferences. Actually, MACC is still going on this week. The webinars? Yep. 7.0, next meeting, April 28th, 2021 at 7 p.m. Now, is 7 p.m. going to be our It is. go to time from now on? Was, I didn't know if it was just for these two. Was, nope. Was... nope, 7 p.m. from now on. We voted on that. Um, when that was. I didn't March. know it was that particular spurt of meeting, but as it stands, it's, we're staying at seven. Very good. Correct. Which brings us to 8.0, the magical part of the evening. Okay. Motion to adjourn. At 7.49. Someone answer the phone. Yeah, you can answer the phone. Can I get a second, please? Second. Yeah. <laughs> Who else did you? <laughs> Sit down, Jim. <laughs> I thought you were serious. I was going to answer it. <laughs> well, that's a good one. Yeah, might okay. be somebody calling you out of a plane in the line. I don't know. All right. John Hussey, are you in favor of adjourning? I am. Jim Drury, are yes. you in favor of adjourning? Jim LaCour, are you in favor of adjourning? Yes. Uh, Ann LaCour, are you in favor of adjourning? Sure. Don Wagman, are you in favor of adjourning? I am. Jennifer, are you in favor of adjourning? Yes. And I am definitely in favor of adjourning. 
And you said that. Thank you, end. people. Have a good night. Good night, all. Good night. Good night. It is. See you all soon.